October 12, 2022 Kununa was departing Banal port for Batam. Before clearing the port limits ship's engineer advised the captain the shaft seal was warmer than usual. Captain disengaged transmission and continued out of port on one engine to assess the situation. Once safely out the port entrance the starboard engine was engaged and strong vibrations were felt from the starboard main shaft Kununa returned to port immediately. After discussing with the ship's engineer it was decided that Kununa could only operate on one engine and that, given the excellent weather forecast, Kununa should continue to battle and book a dry dock to rectify the problem Kununa safely made the trip to battle on one engine, at a reduced speed of 6-7 knots with the starboard shaft secured so it would not turn when underway and cause further damage. A slotted Asian fast was secured, and Kununa docked on Friday the 21st of October. Preliminary work to remove port and starboard running gear, tie shaft between rudders and hydraulic rudder tiller arm were removed to turn rudders at 90 degrees to shaft. Both props were removed using hydraulic. No heating of the props was necessary and they popped with minimal encouragement of the lump hammer. Both gearbox shaft couplings were removed. A spanner was fabricated and the couplings were removed with a hydraulic jack and minimal encouragement of the lump hammer. No heating was required. Both port and starboard shafts were safely removed using a forklift truck and two rollers to support the shafts. Exterior bearings were removed using a puller tube and jack. No heating or cutting of the bearing was necessary. Interior bearing required the fabrication of a specialist tool to pull the bearings. The starboard bearing was very loose in the housing and had been turning. The port inside bearing was held fast and required cutting to remove, and both stern tubes were cleaned. Preliminary findings. Both shafts have experienced moderate pitting around the inside bearing. Both shafts were taken to a shaft specialist for checking for true. The starboard shaft was bent at the point of the interior bearing, most likely due to the localized heat. The deflection prior to repair was 0.7 mm. This is outside of recommended max tolerance of 0.5 mm. The shaft was repaired and had been taken out. The final deflection of the shaft was 0.10 mm. The port shaft was checked and found to have a deflection of 0.35 mm. After straightening the deflection was 0.10 mm. The pitting in both shafts was, as far as possible, polished out to minimize the risk of damage to the bearings. This was done at the workshop then completed to a higher standard by the Kununa crew prior to replacing. Both shafts were crack tested using the liquid penetration test method. No cracks detected. The exterior bearing housings of three bearings were found to be in good condition, as were the bearings themselves, however they were removed and replaced. The replacement bearings are copper with rubber wear surface. This is the same or similar type that was used originally. The bearings that were fitted in Brisbane River Gate Yard were fiberglass with a rubber wear surface. Either type is recommended for use on the fiberglass boat. The rubber wear surface of the interior starboard side bearing, as suspected, was severely damaged. The rubber material appeared to have become granulate and had melted into a collar around the shaft. The housing was observed to have some cracks in the fiberglass, mostly in the forward 3 inches. The bearing outside diameter was significantly undersized, measuring almost 2 mm smaller than specs in some areas. The cracks in the forward part of the starboard bearing housing did not appear to be deep and no cracking or leaking was observed on the exterior paint or gel coat of the housing. Reassembly work, all bearings, and bearing housings were measured for compatibility. Bearings were chilled to minus 16 Celsius. In the ship's freezer, all port and starboard main shaft bearings were reinstalled. After being chilled to minus 16 Celsius, both port side side bearings were installed without the use of a jack. The starboard exterior bearing was installed without the use of a hydraulic jack too. In other hand the interior bearing required the use of a jack pump to 200 bar. Shafts were reinstalled and pushed in by hand with soap lubricant. Two rollers and an overhead crane were used in the installation process. Shaft seals were cleaned and checked then reinstalled. No damage was observed on the port seal. The starboard seal was replaced with a reconditioned unit from Rivergut. An additional layer of epoxy and glass mat with 7 mm in thickness was wrapped around the exposed interior of the shaft housing of both port and starboard shafts. This requires the removal of the rubber spacer on the bearing flexible housing. This work was carried out by a local specialist. Shaft alignment was checked, and some small adjustments made. 
system used for checking was the measurement of distance between the shaft coupling and the gear box flange. This work was carried out by the ship's engineer, as the shipyard technicians felt no adjustment was necessary due to the lack of vibration at the main engines and shaft bearings. Sea trial A three-hour of sea trial was conducted after Kununa returned to the water. Some small adjustments were made to the position of the shaft seal collar to stop a water drip. Other than this, the drivetrain worked as normal. No excessive vibration was detected at either port or starboard gear box, interior bearing or above the propeller location. And this wrapped up the report made by the captain. On the 3rd of November, 2022, Master MV Kununa, Duncan Warner, video made and captured by ship engineer J. Gay Beater.